technical support video is to show you how to properly use the imposition feature in the multi-rip hybrid printing software. The imposition feature allows you to take either separate individual graphics or separated channels of graphics for film positive printing, send them to the rip, have the rip combine them into one template or signature, and then send it to the printer at once so it's all printed out onto one sheet. You'll typically see this happen when you're using an expensive type of media such as an inkjet dark transfer paper or even a film positive. This is also a feature that is widely used with automatic pad printing presses. To begin with, we'll have two graphics up on our screen that are two completely separate graphics. Each one of these graphics is 11 inches by 13 and a half. What we're going to need to do is set up our template for that. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go into our RIP interface, click on the utilities, and go over to the imposition. And then you'll see a flyout window, and we'll want to click on edit the signatures. In this window, in the top right area, you'll see all the signatures that we've already preset. We're going to be using the Epson 7800, which prints 24 inches wide. Underneath the 24 inches wide area, you'll notice that we have two different ones to set up. In order to do this, we would have to have ones already pre-set up for the size of our file. Notice up at the top it'll say 24 by 36 is the setup. And if we click on one of these boxes, it'll say what the position is and the size. Each one of these boxes is only 11 by 8.5. It's not going to work for the, what we're looking for because our graphics are 11 by 13 and a half. And the page, the overall template size or signature file size is too large for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up, click on File, go to Create New Signature. At this point in time, we're going to name our signature. And what I'm going to name this is, it's a 7800 printer. We're running it two up, and it's going to be shirts. And then I'm going to put in parentheses 11 by 13 and a half. Now the overall size of this template, I've got to put two 11 inch wides next to each other. So I'm going to just go ahead and make the template 24 inches and give me enough space on the sides and in between. The height of this template, what I'm going to do is go ahead and make it 14 inches high. That's just giving me a quarter of an inch above and below. I can put in a description I'd like in here as well. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Once I go ahead and hit OK, it'll set up my template that's going to be 24 inches by 14 inches. And that is displayed up at the top. The next thing I need to do is I need to set up my individual page sizes. If you scroll down on the right side, you'll see the different page sizes that are already set up. In a previous video, we set a page size up for t-shirts at 13 by 16. Unfortunately, that's not going to work for us because your page size needs to be the size of the page of the file that you're sending in your graphic software. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go up to page, go down and click create new. And this side, we were going to go ahead and put t-shirt. And this time, I'm going to do 11 by 13.5. This is why I like to go ahead and put the size listed right next to in the name area. I'll put the size of the t-shirt graphic at 11 by 13 and a half and go ahead and hit OK. Now if we scroll back down, you'll notice that we have another t-shirt listed here and it's 11 by 13 and a half. I'm going to double click on that file. It's going to ask for the XY coordinates. I'm just going to hit OK. I can then turn around and move this file anywhere I'd like. In this case, I'm going to bring it all the way over to the right and center it, just with a little graphic above area and a little bit below that, because I'm going to do this with an inkjet dark transfer paper. So I'm trying to save as much of the paper as possible. I'm going to double click on the same exact page size again, because both of them are exactly the same size, and then I'm going to hit OK again. Again, it's going to default it to the top left corner. I'm just going to grab it and center it. So I'm trying to minimize the amount of space, but still give me a little bit of room going around the transfer itself. Once I have that already, since we're using the imposition feature, 
we're going to go ahead and use the auto up at the top. If I was doing this and doing it with different sizes or something, I could always come down to the page label and put in a label for each different one. That's actually what we refer to as step and repeat. There's another video that explains how to use that. So what we'll do at this point, we'll go up and we want to save our signature template. Once it's been saved, we can close out of this window. And now we need to tell the RIP to use that specific template. By clicking on Utilities, going over to Imposition, and clicking on the Load Signature Setup. The next thing we'll do is we'll choose what printer we're printing to. Again, we're printing to the Epson 7800. Now we'll choose which template we have. And this time we're going to choose the 7800 t-shirt 11 by 13 and a half. We'll go ahead and click OK.